guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'll be doing a video on it and I decided to make this video so that I stop you guys from using this product. And these are actually real facts and I did research so I'll be telling you guys this information for your own good and if you're not going to listen then I don't really care so keep watching. The first one is permanent hair colors and semi-permanent hair colors, especially the dark colors such as black, dark brown, you know, just those different colors. So aside from cancer scars, just do a little Google research and search up hair dye allergies and you'll get what I'm talking about and yeah. How you guys could avoid this is by putting um, lemon juice onto your hair for lightening and also tea for gray spots if you have any. Number two is compound henna hair dyes. By this I mean the colored hair dyes you get such as like brown, black, orange, red and many other colors. I'll put a picture right over here. And this is really bad by... You know there's this thing that they say it's all natural and stuff. Well that's all crap. So basically there's something called metallic salt which is mostly in the hennas that are not red, reddish, you know what I mean? And that is really bad by... By the way, none of the boxes even tell you this um, metallic salt is inside them, so it's really bad. So what is bad is that um, after you have used the hair product, you're actually supposed to wait as like one or two years for any kind of henna hair dye that has um, hydrogen peroxide. Because your hair may turn into like a green froggy color or like one no one wants. So watch out for that. Number three, I always get this wrong. It's so weird. It's like not a four. Um, is aluminum powder and like highly pigmented eyeshadows, lipsticks, and many other things such as blushes. And I'll be telling you guys why it's bad. It's actually found in popular products such as uh, NARS eyeshadows, the K247 Glide On um, eye pen, Yves Saint Laurent's waterproof mascaras. According to Environmental American Group, lumen powder causes cancer. But what is really scary, and a lot of us have not known this, is in the film Wizard of Oz, one of the actors, Buddy Epson, who played the Tin Man, got an allergic reaction to the aluminum powder makeup that he wore. The powder had uh, coated his lungs, and nine days later, he was in the and was hospitalized, and then left the project. Number four is we've all seen this. I swear to God, uh, those sunscreen bottles—they always say vitamin A. Now you think, oh, that's great. Let me get this one instead of this one. Well, wrong decision. Cause uh, scientists have discovered a product called retinol palmitate. I believe I'll leave it right here. Or vitamin A palmidate. Number five is nail polish. Now one of my best friends always wears nail polish. Um, so I'm here to tell you a bit about why not to wear nail polish all the time. First of all, when you're applying nail polish, you should always apply it outside or somewhere that you actually have like a window open or something like that because it's so bad for you. The flammability that it could just like go on fire is really bad. The chemicals that are used is actually one of them is DBP. Now what's bad is that um, once you use nail polish in a very small space or not even outside, it causes your brain to slow down the speed, which is really bad. And if you use like nail polish every day and reply, 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 reapply it every single day, imagine how bad that is for your brain. It's not going to like, mm -mm. So how you can actually help with this is if you love nail polish, use a water-based nail polish. They're actually very, very good for you. I mean, they're not good for you, but they also don't have that bad effect on your brain and your body. So use a water-based um, nail polish. Number six is perfume. To be honest, I always wear perfume. And um, basically, it's just like a secondhand uh, cigarette. If uh, people beside you, it's really bad as they could get migraines, asthma. And nausea because you're applying... Um you're wearing perfume. How you could help with this is uh, by using a lot of indie perfumes have like essential oils instead of actually the fragrance inside of the ingredients. If you look at the ingredients, it always says um, fragrance. If you don't see fragrance, then it's fine for you. Way, way better for you. Number seven is Brazilian blowouts and hair straighteners. Oh my lord. So basically, even if a keratin product says formaldehyde free, Many keratin products um, contain um, something that is actually bad for you and causes cancer. 
Also, if you spray it in your eyes, it could cause blindness. Let me just tell you. So all those, you know, hairsprays and stuff, if they contain this chemical, please don't put it in your eyes. It could actually cause blindness. How crazy is that? scary about this is that a lot of um, hair salons and stuff like that have actually had to call the cops and ambulance because the person just sitting there trying to, like, them try to do their hair for them is actually... Um, has happened to them is like vomiting, nausea, rash, chest pain, respiratory problems. Number 10 is antiperspirants. By this I mean like deodorant and just you know those body sprays you use that is supposed to replace your deodorant. Let me tell you how bad they are. So for a woman, this could cause a breast cancer because you're applying that deodorant so close to your breast, it's not even funny. Um, what could help is using natural deodorants. Those could definitely help. You don't have a higher risk of getting breast cancer, which is awesome. But the thing is, these uh, natural deodorants, a lot of people say that they just do not work for them. Stuff like that, you know. They just say they're not good. But I'd rather use a deodorant that doesn't work than the one that will give me breast cancer. So, yeah. Okay, guys, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to subscribe. Um, my whiteboard, that is actually a huge whiteboard. It just looks very small over here, but um, I just wrote subscribe, so make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like this video, and make sure to leave a comment down below. Yeah. Thanks, bye.